What's up, everybody? It's Kendra, the Maverick Girl, and we're back with one more, one more nice, sweet little Double Masters box opening. And uh, yeah, we got the box right here. This is it. We opened two boxes already and uh, an inner case of VIP packs. Those packs were all pretty good. Second box was not as good as the first one or the VIP packs, but those were all great openings. Check them out. You can check them out in my videos, in my links, whatever. Um, this is a great set. I'm loving these packs. I'm loving opening my stuff. I'm getting a lot of great fuel for my cube and all kinds of other stuff. So very excited to open this last box. Um, next week, I don't know what I'm doing. I want to try and get things more consistent, but I don't really have anything kind of just set aside. I do have a few old packs, so I may do like a, just a very shorter, uh, smaller box opening or pack opening kind of thing. Um, we'll just see where I'm at, and uh, I may take a week off just to kind of recuperate uh, and <clears throat> restock my supply of boxes. Um, but we're gonna get some more boxes going. You're gonna see a little more standard, um, and then I'll probably be do mixing it up and throwing some old packs in the mix, but it'll be like just a couple of packs rather than full boxes. So, um, but yeah, let's uh, dive right in. We got the sweet box and I, for one, am ready to see. So let's go down to this hand cam right here. Double masters on top of this sweet Cool Stuff Inc. Uh, thing. Speaking of Cool Stuff Inc, we're using some Cool Stuff Inc sleeves. You can check out CoolStuffInc.com yourself. Get some sleeves of your own. And uh, just while you're there, whatever you buy, Use this little promo code in the corner down here. You can see it, yeah, right here. It's a uh, TMG5. We'll get you 5% off of your next CoolStuffInc.com order. Does not stack with your customer rewards, but hey, it's a great deal. And you can get 5% off even on like Double Masters, assuming it's still available at the time this video comes out, because it might not be. This set is hot fire. It's great. Let's crack it open and see what we get. I've talked about this in the last couple of videos. Some of these pack boxes, a uh, very, very small few, don't have the box toppers. So we're going to cross our fingers and hope that this one has it. The last two did. Even the last one kind of gave me a heart attack because it was underneath this uh, little white cardboard thing. But let's get it open and see what we've got in our box. Oh, there it is. There's the box topper. We're going to go ahead put that right there off to the side for now get out all these packs out of here free them from the box packs are like freedom and then we open them and just ruin their lives <laughs> so all right we're gonna put the box topper over there packs go right here whoa throwing packs already we're gonna go through like the first we're gonna go through all the comments for the first couple packs talk about them a little here and there when I see a good one. Um, and then we'll just start flying through them a little more quickly. So we've got a Fierce Empath. That's a really sweet one. I love this card. I love the original art a little more from Scourge. Uh, we've got Skin Brand Goblin, Crushing Vines, Divest, Shatter of the Squirrel. Someone was pointing out to me like, why is the squirrel bleeding from its mouth? Like it's weird. Uh, Metallic Rebuke, Flare Husk. Urza's power plant. Hey, Urzatron lands. We'll take those. Fatal push is our first uncommon. That's a beater. We'll take that. Then we have a bloodshot trainee for our second uncommon. A glass dust Hulk. And our first rare is masterwork of ingenuity. Nice. With another rare of Kaldulpa Forge Master. Hey, that's a sweet one. Multi tinker. Let's go. Relic Runner is our first foil of the box, followed by a foil Pyrite Spell Bomb and a Servo Token. Nice. All right, let's keep it going. See what kind of goodies we're going to get here. Huh? Huh? All right, we got Salivating Gremlins, Silengar Scavenger, Crushing Vines, Lightning Axe, Relic Runner. Expedition map, hey, ban and popper, but still really great in modern and legacy and all kinds of other stuff. Sanctum Spirit, Sandstone Oracle is our first uncommon, followed by a Weapons Trainer. Lightning Greaves, hey, we'll take another Lightning Greaves there. And our rare is Goblin Guide. Oh, yes, we'll take more Goblin Guides. 
great for burn and all kinds of red aggro decks. We'll take that. And our second rare is Maelstrom Pulse. That's a great hit right there. Heck yes. With a foil, Tumble Magnet, and another foil, Crop Rotation. The original Urza Legacy Crop Rotations before this print were like $200 roughly, like or $150. Like, this one's like still a little bit, not very much, but it is a great foil. You love to see it. I should like have a list of foil prices or something. Uh, we'll see. Let me check here. So at the at the time of this recording, which is obviously a few weeks ahead of time, this foil is like ten bucks. So great foil hit and mod, very very welcome card. All right, we got a shapeshifter. I wouldn't be surprised if that crop rotation has gone down by the time the video goes live. But hey, it's a good card. And my axe. We have Tiber Battle Rage, Elvish Aberration, Executioner's Capsule, Fairy Mechanist, Surge Node, Golem Skin Gauntlets, Strength of Arms, Oval Chase Daredevils, our first uncommon, followed by a Thirst for Knowledge. Oh, and an Oubliette. Hey, I'll take some Oubliette action right there. All day, every day. Great card. Good hit. I'm trying to see. Some prices on this. Cause I heard like it. Someone told me like this was like a ten dollar uh, uncommon at the moment. Now it's just like a ten dollar foil or something. I don't know. But like, nah, <laughs> not even close. But we have a deep glow skate for our first rare. Nice. This was like ten dollars before the mystery booster reprint. And then like, I mean, I'll still take another one. Falkenroth Aristocrat, great little card for limited. Glint sleeve artisan is our first foil. And a foil chromatic star. Hey, great card for popper. Good in uh, modern. Like that's just a great card all around. I'll take. I'll take me a chromatic star. I mean that was like an eight dollar common for a while there, um, before the mystery booster reprint and now this reprint. So I'll take that. All right. At this point, we're just gonna start flying through these commons. Obviously, stopping to point out just like cool ones like that mirror retriever, that sweet popper downshift. We've got disciple of the vault. Clean this space up just a little down here. Ah, veteran explorer, Kaldaltha flame fiend, with a rare exploration. Hey, that's a big hit right there. We'll take another little exploration, and we have another rare of rolling. Earthquake. This was hitting like eight dollars, even like the from the vault one. Not even the Portal Three Kingdoms, which is significantly more because it's Portal Three Kingdoms. But then we have a foil common Balduvian Rage with a foil. Ooh, Flicker Wisp. Hey, that's a sweet one. And a Golem. I like that Golem. It's like all kind of Hedron, but not really. I guess I don't know. Let's see what else we can hit here. I'm ready to see the good stuff. Give me them mythics, please. Let's see the mythics. I want to see the good stuff. Hey, I'm already missing on comments. Gelatinous Genesis, Woodland Champion, Unlicensed Disintegration, and our first rare is Isochron Scepter. Hey, that's always a good reprint. We'll take a nice little Isochron Scepter. And we have another rare of Oblivion Stone. That's a sweet one. Check that out right there. Boom. And we have a foil, Crusader of Odric, and another foil of Oval Chase Daredevil with a treasure token. Nice. All right. I want to see that Stoneforge Mystic. That art is just so, so good. Or like a Stoneforge or something. All right. We've got a Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. Chief of the Foundry, Selesnya Guild Mage. Our rare is Boon Reflection. Nice. And another rare of Maze of Ith. That's a sweet hit right there. See, this is so even, you know, after reprinting in Eternal Masters and the From the Vault, I think it's still like 20 bucks. Or was 20 bucks. I, don't, I haven't checked the price on a lot of these. A lot of the prices have just been dropping, um, but they've been fluctuating, so it's. I haven't been able to keep up with where they've been changing. Um, 
Peace Strider is our first foil, and a foil Isochron Scepter is our first foil rare. That's a nice hit right there. We'll take a nice little foil Isochron Scepter. Foil Isochrons are actually a little bit, and especially that art, it's got to be worth something pretty good here. So we'll take that. All right. Ooh, where's this tower? And we have an Ovenwald Mysteries. First uncommon. Yavamaya's Embrace. Skull Mulcher. And a rare Riku of Two Reflections. First Mythic of the box. That's a great hit from Commander 2011. So I love this. We'll take that. I actually wanted this for, like, for some Commander decks. So hey, great hit. Love to see it. And then we have a Walking Ballista. Freshly banned at the time of this recording in Pioneer. A very good card still. Very playable in Modern, in Legacy, Vintage, Cube, EDH. You name it. It's a good card. So I love that. We'll take that all day, every day. Foil uh, Defiant Salvager and a Foil Chief of the Foundry. Nice. With a Servo Token. Sweet. All right, let's see what else we can hit. We hit the goods. Show me the money. All right. We got us a Sergino Sanctum, Mistress Factory, first uncommon of the, or of the pack. Springleaf Drum, Pented Prism. Our first rare is Thespian Stage. Nice. And then we have another rare of Glimmer Void. Hey. This card was like $30 plus and dropped to nothing. Hate to see it. Expedition map. That's a good one. We'll take another expedition map foil. Absolutely. And a foil skull mulcher. Nice. With a cat token. Nice. Good little pack. Love to see it. Let's hit the gas pedal and keep it going. All right. We got a vamp. Pyre Hex Mage. I'm like f messing up my last my piles here. Uh, for Vampire Hex Mage, first uncommon. Thopter Engineer, Sarah Sphinx, and we have a rare Beacon of Unrest with a rare Heartbeat of Spring. First reprint since Champions of Kamigawa, if I recall correctly. Nice, very nice reprint. We have a foil Battle Rattle Shaman and another foil. Ancient Stirrings. So we'll always take more foil Ancient Stirrings. It's always a great foil to have. We'll take that all day, every day. But we got to keep the ball rolling here. Let's see what kind of goodies we get this pack. Shall we? Bone Picker. Hey, that's a good one. All right, we've got a Treasure Keeper. First Uncommon. Oh, Naginata. Dismantle. We've got our first rare is a Kragen Wick Cremator. Ugh. And then we have a Blank Moth Nexus. Nice. With a foil, Valor and Akros, and a foil, Liege of the Tangle. Yeah, it's not really a great foil, but a, or not great foil rare, but like, I love this card. It's got good nostalgia for me. Like I mentioned in one of my last videos where we opened a regular one of these. Um, this is like one of the first mythics I actually ever opened in paper. And it was, like, one of the first... It was the first Mythic I ever pulled in a draft, paper draft um, when I was coming back into the game in 2010. So I will very much take a foil one of those. It's not very good by today's standards, but, like, it's, it's special to me. So I'm, I'm happy with that, personally. All right, we've got Death Hood. Hey, a Braid. Everflowing Chalice. Mirror Retriever. Good cards here. Crib Swap. We've got a Buried Ruin as our first uncommon. That's a good hit right there. We've got an Ash Barons. Hey, that's a nice one. There we go. Esperzella. And then we have a rare of Shamanic Revelation with another rare of Tempered Steel. God, I love Tempered Steel. Love to see this back in Historic, actually making some waves. It's probably gone down a bit since Jumpstart, but hey, I still love it. I'll still play it. We got a foil braid. Hey, that's a good foil. And a foil die vest with a mirror token. So let's keep this going. We got some more packs to open, everybody.
We can actually get this pack open. There we go. Alright, we got a cast down. Chromatic Star. Hey, take that. And we've got an Invigorate. Hinder. Pack to Exile. I'll take as many non foils of these as you can give me. And a rare Rugged Prairie. More Filter Lands. I'll take Filter Lands all day, every day. With a Plate Steel Colossus. That is a sweet, sweet hit. I'm going to get a sleeve for that one. This thing was hitting like $80, $90 before the reprint got announced. So I will absolutely take that. We got a Foil Steel Sabotage there. Nice. And a Cathodeon Foil. Oh man, Blight Steel, Riku. Like, this is what I live for. Like, these are great, great pulls, great hits. Riku has gone down substantially since the set hit, but, like, it's still such a good card and one that I actually kind of really wanted to build around again, a expo map. So, like, I'm just happy to see these again, even if, like, they're not as money as they used to be. Uh, Sphinx Summoner, Morkrut Banshee, Clone Shell. And a rare of Court of Calling. Nice. I actually got three uh, promo versions, so I'll take this as another good one. Like, sweet. Love it. And we have another rare of Baleful Strix. Nice. They foil Iron Bully and a Gore Clan Rampager with a Merit Age token. Sweet. I want to see the good stuff, though. No more of this jank. Give me the, give, just give me the hits. You know, cast down's a good one. A braid's a good one. Thopter Foundry. I want to see like a thought seize or something. Uh, Ravenous Intruder. Trash for treasure. A wound reflection. This was like hitting quite a bit of money before this down or before this reprint. So we'll take that. And we have a rare blade splicer with a foil metallic rebuke. And Sylvan Might, a Thopter token. Nice. Moon Reflection is a good card, though. I haven't looked at the price on that since it's a uh, reprint, but I would imagine it's still holding a you know reasonable amount of money because of EDH. A Urza's Mine. So I will take that all day, every day. Fencing Ace, first uncommon. Topple the statue. Joy was familiar and a mesmeric orb for our first rare. Hey, that's a good one. And a duplicate where they went back to the Mirrodin artwork. That's great. I love it. And we have Fortify for our first foil and an Icar Wellspring. Not a bad pack, honestly. Mesmeric orb really helped that one. That card was hitting $25, $30 easy because mill decks, people keep trying them in modern great all right we've got Kozlux predator let's try and get this in focus power plant we've got a hidden stockpile pongify mirsmith our first rare is braids conjurer adept and <laughs> scarab god still like a 40 30 40 dollar card this is a hit We'll take the Scarab God all day, every day. I love this card. Oh, man, that's a great Mythic to hit. But we'll take that all day. Check that out. Blade Steel, Riku, Scarab God. Yeah, we're going to go in on that. The Foil Frogify and the Foil Whisperer of the Wilds with the Death Touch Worm. We're going to get Assemble, Tron, Assemble Token Tron and get the Worm Coil Engine. I'm a believer. All right, we got Rapacious Dragon. And Brainstorm. Cool. Ravenous Intruder. Throne of Geth. Valorous Stance. Our rare is... First rare is Stone Hewer Giant. And we have another rare of Brutaclad. Nice. With a Foil Revoke Existence and a Twisted Abomination. Wish that Stone Hewer Giant was a Stoneforge Mystic, but hey... Uh, Stone Hero is still pretty good for cubes, so hey, I'll take that. All right, and let's keep it going. 
We got a Dark Steel Citadel for our first uncommon, Master Splicer, Flicker Wisp, and a rare of Doubling Season. Let's go ahead and get a sleeve for that. We got Battle Ball too. Nice. Battle Ball's not worth much, but hey, it's a great card, so we'll take that. Nice. Foil Cast Down. Check that out. And a. Andy Foil Mistress Bobble. I don't think this is really insane. Oh, I got the thing right here, don't I? Oh, it's like a $10 foil. Oh, God. It's great. Ugh. At least, again, at the time of recording, which is like close to the beginning of the set. So the price may have gone down a bit, but it also probably will go up again as Mistress Bobble tends to do. So, um, oh, man. That, knocking the tripod as I do. Let's get that more in focus. Got a core tapper. This is another one of those cards that was hitting a couple dollars before the reprint. Rush of Knowledge, Pyre Wild Shaman, and a rare dual caster mage with another rare Hannah Ships Navigator. Nice. A foil Ancestral Blade and a foil Sandstone Oracle. And a copy token. Hey, I need more of those. All right, we got five packs left before we go on to that. Sweet, sweet box topper. What are we going to get? I want to see the good stuff. We got Twisted Abomination. We got Nurse's Tower. And oof, another Mistress Bobble. Sure, why not? Right? Galvanic Blast. Gore Clan Rampager. And a rare Firelit Thicket. Nice. Another rare of Sword of Feast and Famine. Oh, that's a great sword. Oh, this was like hitting $60, $70 before the reprint. I think it's still like $50 too, so like I'm going to sleep for that. We've got a foil Rapacious Dragon behind it with another foil of, I'm trying to get that neat up. Galvanic Blast. Hey, that's a good foil. And Elemental Token. All right, let's keep this train going. Just a few more packs to go, everybody. What do you think we're going to hit in these last couple packs? Because I want to see the fire. We got that Urza's Mine. We've got this Olvenwald Mysteries, Painsmith, Reclamation Sage, and a rare of Atraxa Praetor's Voice. That's a sweet hit right there. Another Mythic. And another rare of Greater Good. That's another Greater Good that I've opened. I've opened a whole bunch of these already. It's still a great card, so hey, I'll take it, you know? And we've got a foil of Surge Node with a foil Topple the Statue and an Elf Warrior token. Got three packs left. Let's see the good stuff. I want some more Force of Will. I want to see some other good stuff. Uh, I want to see more Swords and a Stoneforge Mystic. So we've got a Oriox Salvagers, Brimstone Volley, Golem Artisan, and a rare yes once again i need this for my cube so like this is a great hit good pulls i love it and we have another rare of kemba ka regent man what a box all right casual and kozel x predator this box is kind of like a troll like it started really slow but then we just kept hitting like gas 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 like these foil, these mythics aren't always like what i wanted to hit but they're like a lot of them are 30 plus dollars, so I'm good with this. <laughs> Shit. And Thoughtseize, too. Like, Thoughtseize is always worth money, especially with that Lorwyn artwork. Whew. All right, Fencing Ace, Cranial Plating, Selesnya Guild Mage, and we have our first rare is Inkwell Leviathan, followed by a Skurs Dog High Priest. Ugh, foils are weapon surge. Ooh, and a foil rare well of ideas. That's a nice one. First time in foil with this set, too. So, might actually be worth a little bit. I don't know. I haven't checked the price on that. Um, but pretty nice. Like, the rest of this pack was garbage. Honestly, not really what I want to see in a pack but uh, of double masters. But, you know, you buy a full box of kind of, kind of worth it-ish. Ish. And we have a last pack of double masters regular before we get to that box topper what are we going to hit something good come on crop rotation sweet valor and acros basalt mine let's sweet 
And we have a rare Vishkal Blood Arbiter and another rare of Ion Storm. Ugh. We have a foil, ooh, foil Brainstorm is always good. We'll take a foil Brainstorm and a foil Elvish Aberration with an Eldrazi spawn. All right, everybody, what are we gonna see here? Double Masters Box Topper. All right, I'm a believer. Got these boxes from CoolStuffInc.com, so hopefully they pulled me some good box toppers. The other ones have been pretty good so far, so I'm I'm I've got a you know pretty good hope. So I think I've seen like mythics are usually on the back, so let's check the first one front one first. Fatal push, nice. That's a sweet box topper. I like that. Nice. And we have another one is Ooh Exploration with the black lotus in the background. This is sweet. This is great. Oh, what a good way to round out this box. Let me tell you, these box toppers are excellent. This is one of the, the, the big ones. I, I just, I love this set. Like, I obviously, my first two boxes were the big heavy hitters. I knocked it out of the park with those two things. The first box, rather, and the first VIP edition so, uh, thing. So... That's it for Double Masters for me. Um, if there's still more in stock come next month, I might order another box, but I'm going to keep it kind of light. So we'll see what happens. But I loved this set. I loved opening these cards. So thank you for coming along. Thank you for hanging out. Like, share, subscribe. Like I said, I'm going to be doing more pack openings, hopefully box openings eventually um, in the future uh, every week. So hope to see you there. Until then, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you around later. Have a great night, everybody.